in my country, in Hungary, um, in order to understand today, we need to understand the history. And uh, it's uh, nearly 30 years that the Iron Curtain has come down. And uh, during communism, uh, one of the main characteristics of Hungary was imprisonment in uh, spiritual and emotional imprisonment. Uh, people were craving freedom because they were uh, prohibited in areas of self-awareness, in faith, in self-expression, in all different dimensions of an individual. And uh, once the Iron Curtain came down, what happened is uh, that uh, Hungary suddenly got all this freedom. But uh, actually, it was a freedom that we did not know how to treat. Hungarians do not understand, did not understand what to do with this freedom. So there was no knowledge about what freedom is. We always thought it's just uh, being out of the cage. And uh, suddenly they just started uh, indulging in everything they could get their hands on. Because they were craving so many things, they were curious about so many things. And the same thing happened with uh, sexuality as well. Suddenly our borders opened up not just to uh, healthy uh, input, but to uh, unhealthy input as well. So sexual freedom came in and uh, Hungarians did not know how to treat it. One of the things I uh, noticed, I, I was a political refugee from Hungary to the United States. And uh, right after the fall of communism, I returned to Hungary visiting my country um, now as a 21-year-old young girl. Um, and one of the things I noticed that all the windows and all the shop stores, uh, shops and store windows were filled with pornography and pornographic magazines. Uh, I was shocked. I did not know where to look. And uh, slowly we started, Hungary and the Hungarian government started to limit the freedom of these uh, pornographic uh, magazines and how you could show them or how you're not allowed to show them. But in the heart of people, there is still no knowledge of how to treat sexuality. They don't know what is healthy and what is not healthy. And uh, they are extremely afraid that uh, any limitation is uh, also, it means, um, they're afraid that limitation means imprisonment. They do not understand the concept of boundaries. They're thinking in black and white. They're thinking either total freedom or imprisonment. And they don't know how to find the line in between. And I think that's very characteristic of the sexuality and sexual attitudes of Hungary right now. Also, uh, the other idea, the other thought that comes into my mind about uh, the change of the attitude is um, um, an abused person has a great amount of shame in their personality. The same way an abused nation has a, a great amount of shame in her personality. And uh, shame limits us in our freedom because shame will not allow us to say no, to pull boundaries. And that's very typical of Hungarian attitude about sexuality. Even Christians do not know how and where to pull boundaries because they're in their soul shame is so imprinted. They need to be free to say no, to be selective, to take responsibility. And I think it's, a, it's a, these are the main characteristics.